Oh, hi viewers. Welcome to a new Let's Play sort of project for the channel. I say sort of project because uh, while it is technically a Let's Play, it meets all the qualifications in my book. Um, it's not really going to be the same commentary I usually have, which is just kind of like focusing on the game, you know, just kind of going through everything step by step. Because, you know, I, I like to do that, but at the same time, I kind of want to mix it up. You see... I, I wanted, I wanted to like kind of go wherever my mind usually tends to wander, just just because, and just kind of chill out with you, the viewers. So you know, it's like it's kind of gonna be like just me rambling, and I think that I think that's fine. You know, I I need to do that. Some days I just I need to do that. On the other hand, you know, we got Pikmin, and, you know, if you haven't played Pikmin, it's, it's an amazing game. Uh, there's, there's a ton of Let's Plays, I'm sure, here on YouTube that you could choose from that probably go into the game really in-depth. Probably the mechanics, you know, everything that you need to do, how you can break the game, how you can speedrun the game. Really anything that your hearts desire. I can't really bring that to the table, you know. I mean, it's, it's already there, so what can I do other than just... Do it and then do whatever else commentary. Yeah. So, you know, I just, I kind of wanted to just chill with the game and I decided Pikmin. Also, I don't know, I just, I kind of wanted to mix things up. It seems to be a trend within my friends here, or at least one of them. But that said, you know, it's like, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're doing their own thing, I'm doing my own thing. Because, you know, I, I like doing Let's Plays. I do. It's, but sometimes, like, it doesn't work out the way I want it to. For instance, I was playing, like, um, whatchamacallit. I, I was doing a game. It was called, like, uh, The Magical Quest Starring Mickey Mouse. I was going to do that. But at the same time, the commentary just wasn't living up to what, I, what my standards dictate, you know? Sometimes... I need, like, a certain level of, like, satisfaction from what I do in order to really, like, go about the gameplay and, and the footage and my commentary because, you know, it meets my standards of, um, bullshit, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm saying other than, like, it's not meeting my standards. <laughs> Long story short, Gildum, jeez. Simplify what you're trying to talk about, right? Anyways, so point is, you know, it's like, I feel like if I can just kind of talk about whatever, maybe, maybe it'll help me focus on, like, games that I actually want to do for the channel. Which, by the way, you know, that, that is a game that I'm planning on doing, if it's not already up. If it is already up, well, there, there you go. Apparently, I did what I wanted to do, but I couldn't at this point in time, so it didn't work out. I don't know. Point is, um, stuff. Stuff is happening. And if this works out, you know, I'd, I'd like to kind of do more of it, you know, just kind of playing a game while talking about whatever's on my mind, which I guess technically still qualifies because, you know, it's gameplay and then you got the you got the commentary. It's just one's like more centered around the, the game as opposed to this, which is centered around so like God knows what. It, I would say more vlog style commentary, but... Really, this this wasn't a vlog. I mean, I, I I was thinking about that, but at the same time, it's like you know sometimes I just I don't have all that much going on with my week, and you know I in that regard I don't even know if I could do a weekly vlog because it's like some some days are slow, some weeks are slow for me. You know, it's like it's it's getting past Christmas. Sure, I could have done the whole vlog thing for like the Christmas rush because you know it's like. Uh, me being like dead tired and being like, Ugh, hey viewers, I'm dead inside because I can't get a break. Uh, you know, that, that's how it feels sometimes. And I'm sure that's how it feels with you, the viewers, on a general basis. Some of you, who's ever watching, I, I really don't know. See, that's another thing. I don't know who watches my stuff, but that's cool. I'm fine with you watching my stuff. The point is, I just, I just wanted to mix it up. Uh, kind of, kind of do something different. Uh, th this is what I'm doing. I'm happy with it. I, I think, I think I'm happy with it. I don't really know. 
I, I'm kind of unsure about a lot of things. But point is, even though it's a mess, I feel like stick with it a little bit. Let's just get through the game, and then by the end of it, I'll make a judgment whether or not this was a good, successful experiment that I should keep working with, or if it's something, um, something I'll never do again. I don't know. Well, we'll we'll readdress the issue later. Point is, right now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go off wherever I want to because I have so much freedom to just kind of explore my mind. Like like the holiday rush, which I was talking about. My job gets crazy busy during the holidays. And I'm sure some of you are wondering, what do I do? What, you know, like, where do I work? Which, I don't know if I should say for legal reasons. I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but at the same time, you, you never know. Legality has never been one of my strong suits, you know? It's like, I understand things about the law, but the intricate details, because there's a shit ton of them when it comes to all, all that stuff, I don't know all of them, so to be safe, I'd rather be safe than sorry by not telling you where I work. But at the same time, like, uh, I'll tell you this, it deals with, um, it deals with postal services. So as you can imagine, you know, uh, yeah, people send stuff over the holidays and I have to deal with that um, I've been doing that for nine years if you can believe that I'm on my tenth and I know that sounds like a long time and I know that like some people say that's impressive but at the same time like life kind of just comes and goes through experiences and over time you just kind of lose track of that shit I mean for instance I've been doing let's plays and stuff like that for six years it doesn't feel like it it, it really doesn't, and I mean, I enjoy it. This is my hobby, and I love this hobby. This is what I do. I enjoy it. I don't care that I'm low-key, because you know why? I have fun doing this, and so I, I, I want to keep on doing that. So much that I actually made it my New Year's resolution to kind of try to maintain more of a schedule, because I don't know if you if you pay attention to my channel. I don't even know if you watch it. If you do, then you you notice I've been pretty inconsistent with a lot of uh, my uploading stuff. I don't I, I don't know. It's kind of been on a when I feel like it sort of basis, but at the same time, it's like I kind of want to like come back to it, kind of get more into it because I I really enjoy it. I just I kind of life kind of gets in the way sometimes. Other things kind of get in the way, and as I said, you know, I, I get frustrated when things don't get right, when things don't go right. Case in point, you know, trying to do a Let's Play didn't work out, so it's like, oh, the commentary sucks. So, you know, I, I scrapped it, and I just like, I'm, I'll do it again later. And by later, I mean, you know, like seven months, it's like, oh, time to, time to try again. And then, you know, you realize that you're, you're your strength your your commentary is all devoided it, it's all gone you just you have nothing to say you, you boot in the game and it's just like ah oh, doesn't work out so well mm. I, I know how it goes I'm an introvert some of you might be like, I don't know what that is. Well, some of you are introverts some of you are extroverts and there's not a third option that I'm aware of because if there is a third option, then I don't know. I'd, I'd say it's that good median that you're just kind of both. Although, really, when it comes down to it, I feel like uh, being an introvert and extrovert are very situational. At least with me. I tend to be more of an introvert. But there are days I'm a lot more extroverted. Because uh, as, I, as I go about it, you know, I'm not a very sociable person. I feel like doing Let's Plays kind of helps with that, because it's more of like me talking to myself. And I talk to myself a goddamn lot. All the time. Don't know if that's you in a nutshell, but it, it, it it's me. I talk to myself a lot. Uh, it, it's, it, I don't know. Some I guess that makes me weird, but then again, I'm, I'm not trying to go for anything else. Because, you know, I like being weird. Being weird is a good thing, I think. It... It mixes it up. It makes you unique. Um, also, I don't have to really... I don't really have to, like, uh, conform to society's norms. Even though I don't... I don't really know who does. Well, maybe some people do. I don't know. Not, not what I'm trying to aim for. What I'm trying to aim for is just... Uh, 
I, I want to do what I want to do, you know, it's like, I think everyone kind of, kind of just wants to follow their own rules, in, in a way, I don't know, then again, I'm more of a follower than a leader, you know, I'm an introverted, um, I'm an introverted number two, uh, as in, you know, I make a good follower than a leader, but, you know, second in command, I don't mind being second in command, because, you know, I get direction, and then I do what I do. <laughs> Although, going back to my job, it's like, I have the high seniority, and a lot of people look up to me, and it's weird, because it's like, um, I didn't, I didn't become management, because I don't really feel like I have the leadership skills. Although, then again, I, I guess you could be management and not really have the leadership skills. It's just, I feel like it helps a lot, because, you know, you, you get, like, you have management, and then you have, like, the union employees. I'm a union employee, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm not a management. I do, I do the other things, but I'm under a union. Because, you know, there's, there's a lot of official stuff like that. It, it, <laughs> of course, to some of you, this, I'm probably just throwing out things, and, you know, in, in a way, I'm kind of just doing that to myself. I'm, I'm not really thinking too hard about what I'm saying. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Point is, you know, um, a lot of people at my job, they think of me like, you know, since I have the highest seniority, I know a lot of things. Uh, I tend to really just do what, like, I feel like should be done at the moment in my near surroundings, you know. And granted, like, I do move around a lot in, in my area, and I do get a lot of things done, but at the same time, um... You know, it's like a lot of people, a lot of people look up to me, like, to kind of lead, um, the rest of my fellow employees to, like, uh, m make sure things go by smoothly, much like a manager at my job would do, and, you know, I, that's not my job, you know, even the managers, or I guess the supervisors, because, you know, that, that's really what I mean by management. The supervisors, they look up to me. They're, they're kind of asking me, what what should I do? What do I recommend? And it's like, I, I didn't become a supervisor to, like, you know, um, manage the whole entire area that I'm at. I didn't choose to be management because, you know, I, I didn't want to be management. Again, I don't feel like I have the leadership skills. I panic when things start, like, piling up and stacking. I don't think I'd really be able to handle uh, a lot of the things going on. I feel like when shit hit the fan, I would panic much like a lot of people do. It, it tends to be what happens, you know? So I, I don't think I'm really good, you know, management material. But again, like, they, they look to me. They're like, hey, what do I do? It's like, but I, I don't know what to do. I'm just doing this thing because I think it would help us go by a lot quicker. So really, they see me doing a good job, but at the same time, I'm, I'm just doing what I feel is a good way to just, like, keep things moving along because that's my job in a nutshell. Try to maintain the flow and try to make sure things keep going. Because, you know, it, it, it's like... Um, it's packages and, and postal services, and so basically it's it's like a well-old machine. You just keep it running and keep it going, and eventually just it it, it just keeps. Uh, I don't know. I lost my train of thought there. Um, it it just keeps flowing and just keeps going, and then you know everything everything just keeps moving, and, and then you go to the next day and you do the same thing over again. It sounds boring, but I mean like. Some days are easier, some days are not so easy. But, you know, there's not really much else to say about my job other than a lot of people look up to me just because I have so, so much seniority and I, I actually have the highest seniority. The other thing about my job, I guess, that I should probably explain is my uh, where I work. Because, like, it's um, it's a big place. It's, it's, a, it's basically a warehouse. Uh... Where I work, it's probably the most stressful area in the entire building. Because, uh, not only do you have to keep it flowing, but, but you're getting, like, a lot of packages and a lot of things at one time. And it's, it can get very stressful very quick if you, if you, uh, if you're not ready for it, if you're not expecting it. I expect it all the time. So it's like, 
I, I kind of have a sense of what to do. You know, doing it day after day, you kind of, kind of have a good idea of what you should be doing. But at the same time, a lot, of, a lot of people because they're new, or uh, they they haven't experienced everything there is to experience. Especially during the holidays, they they kind of don't. So it can it can get pretty uh, pretty stressful, pretty pretty crazy. And not only that, but I mean, like, I have my shift, and then there's, like, two shifts, one before mine, and then one after mine, and they're always looking for help, so, in addition to the holidays being crazy, it's like, uh, other, other shifts, other than the one that I work on, they're also asking for help. And so, it's just, like, the holidays, it's, it's a really difficult time for me to actually, like, be consistent here on YouTube, so... If there's ever an absence during that, it's because uh, I have to deal with all that. I don't know. At least until until I quit, I might one day. I, I'm not sure at this point. But the, I don't know. I, I'm not trying to think about it too much. Cause you know, I, I like simplicity. I think a lot of people like simplicity. Not everyone, but I think a lot of people do. Anyways, uh, my job is my job. I, I meet a lot of cool people there. Uh, for instance, uh, Spider Spider Mikey, uh, who who I love to death. He uh, we work together. He can tell you a lot, but at the same time, um, he quit. He's happy with it. He didn't want to deal with it. Uh, he he was actually management, and he said it was pretty much a glorified babysitting babysitting uh, position. As in, like, uh, he had to babysit a lot of the fellow, uh, uh, fellow union employees. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask about it, like, sometime during one of the Rampage parts. So, uh, you know, look out for that if you, if you wanna, like, you know, have an idea of, like, a time lapse or something. I don't know. Point is, I don't really want to think about it. I'm just saying things right now. Uh, but yeah, basically... You know, you got, I, that, you got my job. It, it's stressful during the holidays. Uh, now that it's after the holidays, I can kind of focus more on YouTube and like anything else I want to. Cause after the holiday rush, uh, things slow down a, a bit. Everything just kind of starts getting uh, pretty quiet, and I'm fine with that. I mean, like you know, helping out with the other shifts, I. Uh, I actually made out pretty well. I got I got paid, and so it's like uh, you know my bank account is it's not it's not like I'm rich or anything, but I I cannot complain. If if you catch my meaning, you know it's like I can't complain about anything, especially because you know uh, over time uh, you get like a yearly raise. So over time, and in my regard, you know nine years. Uh, yeah, I, I cannot complain about, like, my bank account. My pay is pretty good. Um, I don't really have a lot of stress at the moment. I didn't, I didn't before. There were some days that kind of got to me a little bit, but that's just because, you know, work. But at the, for the most part, I, I try to keep it cool. I just watch a lot of the other people lose their shit, and it's, it's very entertaining in my opinion. But otherwise, I don't really know what else to say. Um, work, work is, work is, work is work. I, I don't really know what other places are like. I like to think that there's similarities. Maybe you can tell me about those similarities, you know, like, if you, if you want to talk about work, like, comparison and stuff like that, I, I'd be down. But otherwise, I mean, like, I work with, I work with a lot of really cool people. I, I like the people that I work with. I know I made a couple of them sound like they're they're just bitching all the time in the in glorified babysitting position, but I mean, uh, you know, it, it's very situational. I find that everyone, like some people have their strong points, other people don't. Um, there's some people I don't like working with, and there's some people I do. Uh, a lot of the people that I work with, I think they're pretty cool. I think. Uh, I don't really think there's much I can really complain about them. So you know, I I think uh, I th I think it's it's just kind of like what it, it is what it is. You know, everyone's different. 
I, I really don't have much to say about, like, I don't really have a whole lot of negativity to say about, like, anybody I work with. And it's not like I hold a grudge against anybody. I mean, like, if I did, oh my god, I'd, I'd just be like, I'd hate everybody. I'd hate everyone I work with. I don't, though. I, I think a lot of the people that I work with are pretty are pretty awesome. They're pretty cool. Uh, you know, we, we talk about all sorts of things. Like, um, who I work with, a lot of people are, are nerds, like myself. I have one that likes to talk about Final Fantasy, and he's a really cool guy. We, we were talking about Final Fantasy XV the other day, and... Um, let, let me tell you, it, w it was it was a good conversation. Because uh, he beat the game before I did, and I ended up playing World of Final Fantasy like in between starting 15 and uh, finishing 15. So there was a point where it's like I started 15, and we were talking about it, and then I put it on hold to play uh, World of Final Fantasy. Because, you know, surprisingly, I had a lot of fun playing that game, even though it's pretty much just you take Final Fan the concept of Final Fantasy and then... Uh, merge it with like Pokemon or like uh, I don't know sh like maybe the uh, Shimagami Tensei series or uh, I I guess Digimon yeah I mean like you can you can kind of like take your take your uh, take your uh, guys and just like de-evolve them if you want but it doesn't make them weaker for the most part I mean uh, their stuff changes but at the same time like uh, uh, I'm pretty sure like a lot of the stuff stays relatively similar anyways point is um I got sidetracked he got upset because it's like he really wanted to talk about 15 but at the same time it's like but I I'm playing world of Final Fantasy I'm having fun with it I just it's not like I even wanted a break I just got sidetracked you know what happens in my life it's not just let's plays I get sidetracked very easily when it comes to all sorts of things so I don't really know what else to say about that other than, um, you know, it's like, I digress a lot. It happens in my life. It, it's hard to keep focus about a lot of sorts of different things. I try, but, um, I, I just, I can't do it. Sometimes, sometimes I need a break, you know. Happened earlier today. Speaking of, like, getting sidetracked playing a game, I was playing Final Fantasy IX. I decided to play Final Fantasy, like the original first Final Fantasy, because I hear that they're pretty similar in a lot of ways. And, uh, th they are. It's, it's crazy. I might let's play Final Fantasy. I don't know about IX. Uh, I'm a little hesitant about tackling the whole entire series, because, I mean... Like, it, it's a great series. I love that series. I was talking about it with my friend. I brought that up. But at the same time, I mean, really, when it comes down to Final Fantasy, it's like... It's intimidating. Not because of what I have to talk about, but because of what I have to focus. And they all vary. And Grant, I wouldn't have to go in, like, you know... Sequence... Or, I wouldn't have to go, like, uh... uh I'm trying to I wouldn't have to go in order. Like, numeral order. <laughs> That's that's a good way of putting that. Yeah, um, I wouldn't have to go in order of them, you know, because they're they're all different. But at the same time, I would I feel like if I was gonna do it, I'd want to tackle a lot of them, like all of them. And there are ones and there's certain numbers in the game that I just I, I refuse. Eight eight is a prime example of that. Um, I I, I think. 13 I would lose my shit if I if I had to play 13 because I don't know if I talked about it before on my channel or if you know but I absolutely love 13 I have I rant to people I have half hour long rants trying to trying to get into the details of 13 and it doesn't end there I just I get interrupted and I have to go do something else that that's usually what happens when I talk about 13 if, if I just talk about 13 straight it's like me complaining about everything I didn't like about the game and there's a lot But if I had to say some positives, I mean, I think there's like one or two songs that I, I actually didn't mind it of 13 Um And Saz, I, I actually like the character Saz. I, I thought he was I thought he was all right I he was like the only person I understood why he was doing everything he was in the game and, and so character development, he, he was fine by me. I actually understood why he was there. But I guess that's that's uh, 
that's a discussion for another day. Maybe, maybe next time, while I play the Pikmins, because uh, I, I don't know. I feel like this is a good place to end it off. So yeah, I don't know. This this was an experiment, a little bit of a mess. Uh, I'm just I'm just gonna keep going in this this order of talking about whatever's on my mind. So yeah, that, that's the general consensus of what this is. Even though I guess it's technically a Let's Play of Pikmin. I don't know. It's a working title. It's not It's not what I consider a Let's Play, but it's technically a Let's Play. I don't know. Uh, again, working title. Um, so yeah, I guess if you enjoyed it, uh, thanks. I enjoyed making it. I didn't really have to put a lot of time. I just kind of, I just kind of said what I said. And uh, said it was okay. <laughs> Usually I have to put a lot more editing into it. Anyways, I don't know. I'm going to end it now. Um, yeah, check out my channel. Uh, check out a different video or something. I don't know. Peace.